New Tesla interface. Seamlessly navigate without autopilot interruptions or fear of penalties. Uh, also, like, <clears throat> on the Model Y, if I wanted to do anything, oh, we got a fall disease, it's going to cancel us. For navigating on the screen here, you literally could not do anything. Now I can, you know, come over here to music, do something. Okay, now I got, now I have some visible hands here. But I mean, like, literally, I mean, how bad was it before? It was, it was so bad. You couldn't do anything. I got so many strikes from it. Like, if I wanted to come in here and just, like, modify my address and stuff like this, like, come in here, click this button, you know, add a stop. Okay, now I have to give it, a, you know, look forward. But I mean, that's perfectly fine. If I gotta look forward and then I do some more, look forward, do some more, look forward, do some more, yeah, that's perfectly fine. I'm completely okay with that. And I feel like most people should be okay with that, you know, in the short term. Uh, this is starting to feel like much more usable. Like, God, it was very annoying, like having to almost disengage autopilot. I hated this aspect. You had to disengage autopilot just to put an address in or else you get canceled and, and get a strike. Um, but it, look, it looks like it's done now. It looks like that that's no longer a thing. It looks like you can actually put in an address and uh, not have to worry about getting a strike now.